There we go. Beep, beep. Yep, that looks good. Hello? There we go. Hello? Oh. What's up, folks? Hey, guys. <laughs> so we pulled some strings, and uh, we have 30 minutes. So we figured we'd use it. We weren't just going to let it go away. I'm going to bring that out. And let's go to full screen. Super professional, huh? Hey. Let's turn the Popsky down there a little bit. I love that song by, that's a, that's a Space Cadet by Popsky. Guys, uh, are we good? I'm pretty. So you're pretty. Thank are you. Are you pretty, EJ? I feel pretty. Right, I feel pretty. That's <laughs> the important thing. Yes, it's better that is the to look good thing. than to feel good, my darling. Guys, yeah. we have about 30 minutes here. Um, we have to be done at 6 o'clock. That's when the museum closes down. So we figured we could hop on for another 30 minutes. And uh, if you were here before, we were working on the uh, shuttle launch system. We were trying to get it so that it could go to orbit and look correct. So what we're going to do, we're just going to jump right in. Same as always, we're at the, U we're at the uh, Intrepid Sierra and Space Museum. We're broadcasting. That's the 30 minute warning. That's the 30 minute warning right there. The double bings we just heard. <laughs> this is Mission Control. I don't know if you guys can hear this. In 30 minutes. That's voices? how much time we have. Are there voices in my head? Pretty much. It's just us though. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> so there's a 30 minute warning. We have to close down when the muse museum closes down, guys. But we're going to be playing around here. Like I was saying, we're at the Intrepid Sierra and Space Museum in New York City. They're having a space and science festival all weekend. We actually got a chance to uh, walk around a little bit down on the pier. And there's like some, there's a shuttle made out of Legos. Yeah. There's like a robotics competition sort of thing going on. There's... And I actually got a, I got a chance to test with the, the Intrepid Air and Space Museum app. We got to test that out. Oh, oh yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, the yeah, shuttle app, the yeah. shuttle pavilion app. There is. There's an app as well. Um, EJ is going to test it out for us, I think. Do you have it? Have you downloaded it? Uh, I have it, but my, Your my phone is over there. Your phone's in and charging. It, yeah, ah, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, I can't get it over there. So. But <laughs> maybe there's somebody that can get a link to it. Yeah, if not, it's in the app store. It. It's in the iTunes app store. you got to check it and out. It's the Space the Shuttle Pavilion app Space for Space Shuttle Pavilion app the for the Intrepid. Yeah. You can use it at home. It works. There's special markers on the floor here that mm -hmm. interact with the app, but you can also just use it at home, too. Sweet. Yeah, very cool. Excellent. Uh, yeah, so, so one of the reasons we've got like the tensor barrier behind us and there's a little medallion thing on the floor and you, you take the app and you go to different places and it gives you like extra bonus content for using the app sort of deal. Yeah, it's very cool. So yeah. when people are standing right up behind us, it's because we have the barrier set up so they can still get to the special thing for the app. But and that's we're cool. cool. We were going to try and stream it some, but we didn't really have a great way to get the uh, output yeah, from the iPhone yeah. onto the computer. Other than holding it up to the camera. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Nah. <laughs> but uh, anyways, guys, definitely give that a check out. Uh, let's see. We are just going to start working on the shuttle. Let's hop over to the other scene here and see where we are. So if you were with us earlier, we were actually kind of designing our own uh, shuttle launch system here. And uh, I got it standing on the launch pad. We just kind of left it. This was our screensaver while we went to eat. Um, and people were like standing here looking. But here's the deal. This is streaming from the hotel. Yeah, yeah wow. Igor, that's, the, I that's wish. the link. Thank you, Igor. I don't know. There's a, there's a link to the app. Dude, thank you. Igor? Yes. Igor? 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 Hey, yes. no, that's Igor. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So Igor. we haven't tried to launch this thing yet. I may just like try to launch it just so we can see what happens. Um, it's not balanced. I don't know the Delta V. I think it's going to fall out of the sky. But since I've got it here on the pad, I may just FI for safety. Let's see like without any tuning how it works. Now remember, we're going to have to change the mass on the engine. Or sorry, not the mass on the engine, the mass in the tank. We may have to move that around some. We may have to change the angle of the main engines on the space shuttle so they thrust through the center mass. We haven't done any of that yet. We've just slapped these like clusters of nine SRBs on. Uh, the SRBs are a little bit too wide, so there's something we have to do there as well. It's almost, I mean, the width of the orange tank is very nice. It's like right where it's supposed yeah, to you, be. You yeah, you nailed it, dude. It, it looks I, great. I think it looks really, really, really good. And we've got kind of this stuff, the orbiter kind of hanging off the back of the tank like it's supposed to. The SRB is extending even further past the back of the orbiter. I mean, it looks really nice. It hasn't been tuned for flight. And that's where the detail, the, the devil is in the details of tuning this thing for flight. So I think we're just going to fire it up. Oh, wait, what? You fired no. Okay, why are those on? I don't know. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we got it. Okay. All right. So let's see how this goes. Okay. Yeah. Give it a shot. Is that good? You have uh, right. you have launch clamps in a, in second stage. Do I have launch clamps? Thank you, sir. Yeah. And we, like I said, we're just gonna see how this thing flies. What could possibly go wrong? And I'm not even sure. It feels like I'm missing some launch clamps, but I guess not. Those fall away. Those are empty SRBs. Then that's the ohm system when the shuttle actually decouples from the tank. 
So let's see what we can do here. And I have no clue. I expect this to crash because it has not been prepared for flight yet. Yeah. Uh, the shuttle yeah. is not fuel on fuel. Yeah, we're actually, some of these orange tanks in here do not have fuel in them. And as well, these are empty. These are just to kind of cap off the SRBs. And we'll figure out the SRBs. This isn't the final design for the SRBs. Um, but we've got a 1.31 thruster weight. We're just going to try to fly this thing. It hasn't been prepared. Let's grab some victims right quick. Eagle 8 can give this a try. <laughs> Sucker. Three phase. I'll get four total. Old soldier and Mr. Hyatt. Let's see how this works. You guys are awfully quiet. <laughs> so us? Uh, are we you? are monitoring mission control closely in anticipation of launch. <laughs> uh, uh, all systems are being controlled here in uh, mission control. Except the shuttle was designed when, when the engineers weren't even done with their work, so we may have some issues. Yeah. Let's see what we've got, though. We've throttled up. We can pan along. Throttle we can reads engage the 100% of rated performance. <laughs> Maybe do it when it's actually going to work, because it's not going to work this yeah. time. Yeah. yeah. Well, we Let's can see still what do. happens. It it's needs work still. We have not tried to launch it this way. I expect it to flip over and crash into the VAB. Just remember, once you light the candle on the SRBs, that's it. You're going. Yep. So let's see what we've got. Three, two, one. Space. Whoa. I think there's a little imbalance Nating. there. Maybe they're tilted too far or not far enough? Uh, I think it's the edge until it's definitely going to It was just it. going, to, it was doing its own pitch program. It's all good. It just, early. It's going to the east. We are negative on roll program. Are we supposed to be rolling right now? What am I supposed to do? Technically, you're supposed to roll just to have roll, to right, one eight zero. I'm just trying to make the shuttle not explode. <laughs> no, when I, when I roll, it wants to go all crazy. Yeah. Roger, roll, Kent Price. All right, I'm just gonna roll and see if we can. See, it's not balanced for flight yet at all. Can't surprise you have an off nominal flip program. <laughs> Can't surprise you go, totally go for our TRS. Yeah. So you can see we're still flipping over. I think we may do a, like a, a complete flip here. Can't surprise you have a go for flip program. <laughs> Roger, flip complete. <laughs> That's hilarious. So we still have to tune this thing. Is it ever gonna take off again? Wait, can it please not hit the ground? Uh, that's not... Uh, okay. all ground crews, please prepare for impact. No! Oh, no! no! <laughs> <laughs> that's not what's supposed to happen. <laughs> Maybe we can land it. Maybe we can... Oh, it's not looking good, honestly. No. Ouch. Ouch. So, like we said, there's a little bit more work to be done. There's more engineering to be done first. That was not right. And you saw it flipping over backwards because we didn't have the forces balanced. Can't surprise you have a go for revert. <laughs> Go for revert. <laughs> we completely expected that to happen. Let's bring yep. that back to the vehicle assembly. We're just waking everybody up. Is everybody awake now? Good. That ended <laughs> poorly. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I think you're a bit early for the NASA man flip program. <laughs> yeah, normally it's about like what, seven, eight thousand meters up? Yeah. So our problem there, this is telling me that we were going to have 2,000 kilonewton meters of torque? It can't be right. Is that right? Those SRBs. Hang on a second. Let's keep looking here. That goes there. 1.3 on the pad. A lot of kilo 2,000 kilonewton meters of torque. I don't think that there's going to be anything we can do about that. Let's check RCS build date and see what it says. If we go over here and we look at the center of mass for the engines, you can see the SRB is going straight down. The weak exhaust from these engines, the weak thrust from these engines kind of going this way. Um, these engines actually not enough to compensate. You see we're, ro you're, we're flipping in this direction. Yeah. The SRBs also maybe look like they're not exactly straight. They're too far over maybe? Mm. They're like, they're like yeah. one tick away from the shuttle. I'm, I'm almost sure, look, let's see. If we click on that and we move it back just a little bit, let's see if this number goes down, 1994. Wait, what just moved? What do you, yeah, what do you can I don't know, what is moving? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure what's moving. moving right there. Yeah, just something control, was moving. Control Z. <laughs> just, just Let's see if it goes back. That. All right, it froze. That means it's working. Yay. Um, This is what's attached to, right? Yeah, that's showing the entire thing. And when I click on that. Oh, wow, that's getting even higher. 3,000, 4,000. I think it was. um. Not that you didn't have enough thrust behind the space shuttle's boosters. Uh, I think you you don't have enough thrust behind the uh, the your your booster rockets. Yeah, this is very confusing. I d I would not think that it would be working this way. 
full center empty. It's not really moving in the correct direction. Man, because we were definitely flipping over with the shuttle on the back, right? Yes. That means the boosters were thrusting too much. But moving these things this way, this doesn't make any sense whatsoever. That does not make sense to me. Uh, let's fly it. We'll just do a lot of testing here, right? Do you have yeah. Do you have fuel in the the uh, tanks that are above the? No, these are empty. They're empty. Okay. Yeah, those are empty. And where, where's your fuel placement on your external tank? Uh, everything down here. It's all down here. These are empty up here. These are just for show. Okay. Up in the top. Because it was going nose heavy, but obviously as the fuel burns, it's gonna go the other way. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Right. And that, I mean, huh? That is very weird. It's almost like the fact that uh, I wouldn't expect to want to move these boosters this way. It's right. It's because yeah. the okay. So like, th think about it like this: with with the shuttle, you have to kind of find your balance between having uh, the the right power to weight behind the boosters over the external tank right. and the right power to weight to keep the orbiter centered. So right. think kind of think about it compartmentalized. Maybe you if these were throttled down some, these boosters would come back a little bit. Mm. Yeah, but I, it, ideally what you want is both uh, the space shuttle mains and whatever you're choosing for boosters, albeit liquid or solid, to be working at their maximum potential for the right. most efficient shuttle. Okay. You know what I mean? I'm still But you got to remember here. you got to remember that it, your 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 fuel is also going to shift. Your COM is going to shift more towards the shuttle over time. Yeah, it's just right. towards the shuttle and up it looks like. You can actually see the shift. Yeah. This is the full, this is the average, that's the uh, dry center of mass that's, that RCS build aid showing us. And I, yeah, ideally you want your end COM to be somewhere in line with your three main engines. Wow. Okay, that's dry. That's average. We're going to be flipping the other way. That's also taking into it, that also has the empty SRBs on it, correct? Yeah, or does yeah, it take yeah. into account staging? Uh, no, wow. that, that's the empty SRBs, yeah. Yeah, so it's going to be more that it's way. It's going to move around. Yeah. So it flips that way, it's fine. It flips a lot that way, and it flips a lot this way. So maybe what we want to do is move these back just a little bit. Let's press 2, do that, and bring them this way to some amount of torque that we can counter. Yep. Mm -hmm. So what are we up to? There's 40, 20, 90, 200. I'm going to set it at 500 in that direction. Oops, wait a second. I need to be on the center of mass. There we go. So now we've got 500 in that direction when the boosters are firing, and then hopefully... When we get to the average center of mass, this is still going to have the boosters in center. I won't take them off, but hopefully it kind of crosses through. So we're correcting in one direction at one point, yep. and we correct in the other direction another point using right. the shuttle's gimbals down there. Mm -hmm. We'll see if it works. I don't know. There's one way to find out, and we're yeah. a little short on time. So we're just going to do a lot of testing, and things will explode. But we do have to get this working by tomorrow. If we don't get it working on the stream because we've got the hard time constraint here, uh, we will get it working after the stream yes. or something. E we'll send it to EJ. Yeah. We'll send it to the repair shop and have yeah. him repair our shuttle. He's got a manual to help with that a little bit. So, <laughs> All right, are we good? There, the game's loading up. Will this be on Kerbal X? Yes, we will update this to Kerbal X. We will do this. Uh, what else do we have going on? Everything looks good. Let's get four Kerbals. I know it takes time to do that, but that's okay. Erky, Uki, Yuki, Quiet Jeff, Richard. Dude, what's up, Richard? Skazno and Gartox as a scientist. Let's throw these poor brave souls. Really? Y you're, uh, yes, uh, I'm adding and removing and adding and removing <laughs> again. All right, let's go here. Gartox, Richard, Adno, Quiet Jeff, Yuki, I'm going to go with. There you go. So throttle it up. Hey, gun run. Panel. SAS engage. What? Saying how to gun run. Oh. What's up, Gunrun? Hey, How's it going, what up, man? man? How you doing? Greetings from the space shuttle. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, put some hype in chat for Gunrun. Gunrun, thank you for supporting us with this, man. Like, yes. you're always, like, helping us out yeah. with our Dude. KSP stuff. Who's digging the manual. Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> we've actually got one for the Soyuz, and I'll bring them all out and later. For Hubble. For Hubble, yeah, there's yep. one for the Hubble Space Telescope, the Haynes Repair Manual for the Hubble. <laughs> Yeah. So let's see what we can do here. You guys just didn't even show up. You hacked the system <laughs> and you didn't get in the rocket. So you're just showing static. EJ, brace. Let's brace see what happens. Launch. It's going to crash brace, again. Brace. Oh, you're going to oh, you're gonna, you're gonna do that good. again. Oh. F5 for safety. Okay, Okay, that worked. <laughs> and we'll go 3, 2, 1. Look at this. That's looking better. And liftoff. We have a liftoff. And Ken Surprise has cleared the tower. Looking better. Now, I'm not sure I want to try the roll program right now. Look, the SRBs are already kind of starting to overpower. You can see the pitch increasing. Yeah. yeah. As it needs more and more pitch control to keep those SRBs from pushing it over backwards. And you can see, because it's rotating the way that it is, the SRBs are kind of winning the fight here. Now, do I have any gimbal? 
No, all the gimbal in the world is not doing anything there. And that's probably why there is the roll program, so it starts to tip over, it tips towards 90, but even oh, still. Oh, wait a second. Can I flip it? It like stops rolling at one point, it won't roll anymore. What does it use to do the roll program? Uh, it uses the gimbal. Yeah, the, the, the gimbal. But see, like, that's the thing. Yeah. The actual solid rocket boosters, the four segment solids that right. uh, Morton Thiokol made, they're gimbal. They can gimbal the SRBs. Yes. That's why it can turn like that. And on top of we the, don't have gimbal SRBs. Yeah, on top things. of the space shuttle main engines, how much gimbal do those things have? Oh uh, uh, yeah, I it's gotcha. like eight, ten degrees. Uh, I like think that. it's ten degrees. In either either direction, ten and a half. Just that's it. Ten and a half. Either yeah. direction. Yes. That's insane. Flip program complete, by the way. I wonder. Okay, there's the shuttle. It's not going to be able to lift itself. Can we get rid of these safely? No. Dodge! Oh, the wings! No. I think we're going to need. It's got some wings. Tron. You can Hang fly on. it. Fly it. Let's <laughs> let's go with you can the landing gear. We have the wing knowledge. It won't pull up. It has no sink rate. Yes. Pull the up. Let, okay. Sink okay. rate. <laughs> EJ, chill out. This is a simulator. We're simulating things. Let's go back and let's change. Can't surprise you. Have a go for revert. <laughs> you have a go for revert. I'm gonna keep using that. Until someone's crying. Uh, yeah, um, you made so someone cry. It was, me. <laughs> it was me. It was me. It was EJ. <laughs> this is we're simulating this over and over. Instead of like sitting there and talking about it, we're trying to kind of like end with the bang quite literally. This is so <laughs> and it keeps no, flipping over. Let's do this again, right? Lower the thrust on the SRBs that are furthest away from the shuttle. Oh. They'll uh, they'll end at different times then. But that's okay. You want thrust trail off because as your fuel drains out of your main tank, your COM is going to go this way. So you want oh. your thrust to be in line. So you oh. want the boosters furthest away from the shuttle to trail off first. Right, and that's then it'll slowly kind of correct itself as mm -hmm. a result. It'll the stay in that path. Like I said, they change the grain on the SRBs to do the exact same thing. They trail off and thrust over time. Yeah. It's so crazy. So we could actually remove or we could thrust limit some of these. We would need to thrust limit the ones closer because then they'll last longer. So it's going to do the opposite yep. of what we need. No, 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 no. Uh, no? Less fuel and thrust limit, uh, n not, not thrust limit, but less fuel on the ones on less the outside. Less fuel on the ones on yep. the outside. Then you get the same amount of force, but then it'll uh, slowly burn out, and then it'll correct itself with the... I want to launch it like this once. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and the only change I've done is like pulled it way back this way. I want to see how it behaves. Um, and then we can see if we can't program that in. I think it's going to take us a little bit of time to do that. That so takes a lot of time to tweak. Just yeah. to get it exactly yeah. right, you oh, know yeah. what I mean? I've tried, I've tried doing this before. It, it's... It's like the, just the, the way that they end, because they won't stage off either. Yeah, and exactly. the curve yeah. engineer won't show us as each piece you, ends. It's, it's straight what trial it and error like. testing yeah, for this. You, you have it to just right. keep doing yeah. it. Let me launch it like this. You know something? In the interest of time, guys, I'm just going to keep on going with this. Yeah, Bob. That and let's see Friday. if we can kill them over and over again. So we throw a lot of panel like this. <laughs> Remember, this is F5 a simulation. This is, this not is. An we're testing. Launch. We're trying to see where this uh, the placement of the SRBs matches with the. Uh, Roll or not. So Three, two, no one. Kerbals are actually lost. Simulated Kerbals. See, that's got me way over. Yeah. But if you throttle down, it'll fly straight. Throttle back. There you go. 60% See? Of rate of performance. And then as we start to, uh, and now the space shuttle doesn't do this, right? It throttles back to 66%, but it's not for it's not for this. The it's gimbal is for it's gimbal. for max Q. It's for Correct. so the vehicle doesn't break apart because it's going so fast. Like I how you gotcha. try and keep under 350, under 10k, same kind of thing. So see, as the SRBs start to win, I can throttle up the skippers on the back of the shuttle and push it back over again, right? Oh, that's not bad. Now, this is not the way the actual shuttle does it, but in the interest of time, this is what we're doing. Now, the question is, will I run out of control authority from throttling these guys up before the SRBs die? And I'm almost at max throttle here. So maybe if you... The, the Look at the pitch changing. Sorry. Oh, Look at the yeah. pitch as EJ talks. Talk, EJ. Yeah. That's so, perfect. Yeah, yeah. That's that's not bad. So maybe if you limited the thrust on the boosters closer to the shuttle so they last longer. They last longer. Yeah. Then don't limit the thrust on the ones further away, but give them less fuel. Yeah. And then in the, the center of the, the boosters, do like kind of equalize it out. So it equalizes out from duration to thrust over time. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Like I was saying about We're the We're going to need to problems. work on this. We're l every time we do Ow. this, we have less and less shuttle left over. <laughs> I didn't, yeah, about the Separatron idea. It's less and less shuttle. You know something? Parachutes? Negative on roll program, no, chat. We're good. Negative on roll we're good. program. There's not, a lot of, uh, there's not a lot of this left. There's your roll program, there's chat. There's your roll program. <laughs> uh, the rest of the vehicle's oh, gone, man. but there's your roll Kabuchi, program. Kabuchi, we're not reading chat right now. We don't, we don't have a lot of time, so we're just like going as fast as we can. Um, we're just launching this over and over again. I don't think that I'm going to take the time to try and glide this in. No, I don't think so. I mean, I'm pretty sure it wouldn't be able to uh, glide I, in. I think we know what's going to happen. <laughs> so let's You're, revert simulation. That's so does the, actual, does the actual shuttle have separatrons? 
Yeah. Yes. It to has. push the big SRVs away. It, it does. Four of them on the top, three of them on the bottom. I gotcha. Yeah, and they're all kind of facing like inward towards the nose of the shuttle, right? Yep. Yeah. All right, good deal. So let's see if we can put a couple Separatrons on there and keep on going. Now, I don't BRB think checking oh, yeah, he's going to oh, consult the, the reference material the anywhere. and yeah. see what we've got here. Um, I'll just slap these on because, again, guys, we're really trying to get as many launches as we can in. We are limited for time. Yes, we have 10 minutes uh, left. Yeah, so. we have 10 minutes left. Time flies when you're playing KSP. True story. Um, I'm just going to slap these on like that. That's very curious that it didn't appear on the other side, but did it work? Uh, I see. Uh, that's not right. No. Okay, that's completely not what I want. Yeah. Throw that away, control Z. And we're just, this is a bonus stream. This isn't part of our official stream when we're supposed to be streaming. We just uh, basically snuck a little <laughs> bit more time in, yeah. So did that work? Yes, those are all pointing in the right place. So let's make sure they actually go. Here's two. Like that, but I was able to get it going. I, I mean, I was able to launch it all the way up that time yeah. until the SRVs ran out. Now, I think that the big problem is going to be that the SRVs don't last long enough here. That's, uh, that's the problem that I ran into. Yeah, the SRVs yeah. just don't last long enough. It's almost like you need more SRVs for the same thrust that are thrust limited down so they last longer. Yeah. Is the only way to make the SRVs we've got in KSP last longer is to put more of them throttled down. Um, let's try that. We've got the air SRVs in. We'll save that. We'll launch it. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. I keep on saying use the Verners for the roll program, but I don't think I've... No, the roll doesn't roll actually... Anytime help. you use Verners for the roll program... No, 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 no. 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 I think roll program just may not be able to happen with this orbiter. We may have to see. We Maybe the skippers are weak. I don't know. Uh, Throttle up, panel lock, SAS engage. The most experimental results in the shortest time possible. Um, and I'll start at like 50% throttle maybe and see how that flies. Three, two, one. F5 for safety. Space. 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 <laughs> Want to go space? All right, it needs to be throttled down even more. And I can look at the pitch, right? Yeah. And if yeah. I can get that pitch to come down near the middle, that means that I'm pretty balanced. But you know what? See what you, see what you did there, that kind of lateral motion? Is that yeah. the shuttle does The shuttle does, does that. The shuttle yes. does. Yeah. Absolutely. For a little bit, and then it corrects itself. And then yeah. it straightens, straightens out, just like what yours is. And then it does the roll program right after. And it's supposed to be doing the roll program right now, huh? Correct. Technically, it would do the roll program right now, but that's okay if we don't. Actually, How's that? Can't arrive Look at that. Go roll program. Roger roll, get the prize. <laughs> when, we do the, when we do the actual launch tomorrow, we will definitely have these guys doing the whole calling. And then I need to throttle down to let it lean me over. Get the prize, go throttle down. So I need to roll a little bit more, it looks like, Roger right? Roll, throttle down. There we go. There we go. More. Can't arrive to negative seats. And I have not Roger rolled enough seats. There. What does that even mean? <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if I can straighten it out some. Oh, I'm off the KSP home row, apparently. Why are we rolling even more than we're supposed to? Yeah, you're the one controlling. Uh, not really. I kind of feel like I'm not. SRV flame out. You go Get away set. from us. Cross trailing off standby for solid rocket. SRV oh, look, confirmed. it's going to hang. It's going to fly this way no matter what. It just wants to fly that way. SRV set confirmed. That's not what it's supposed one to zero do. Zero three converge. Just so we're all on the same page here, this is not what's supposed to be happening. So what's going on with the arrow? I have a feeling we've got some off very weird arrow right stuff coming on. Roger, off number. <laughs> it doesn't look like I have any real control over it. It's just kind of doing whatever it wants. And I think this is the bane of the KSP arrow, getting lift off of these tanks. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Enterprise, yeah. negative arrow. Wait, we need to <laughs> turn down some. Arrow. And I'm going to see, can I just get it going prograde and fly it? Where is prograde? There we go. Uh, but see, look. Recommend you, RTLS maneuver. <laughs> I'm second, still flying. Second RTLS recommendation. I'm getting experimental <laughs> data <laughs> right now. It's just falling out of the sky. This is a huge problem. Kent Bryce, you have free fall. The, the funny thing is, man, during a, a, during a shuttle's, if, if a shuttle ever did an RTLS maneuver, it basically does this. It falls like a brick with the really? external tank. Yeah. yeah. And then it jettisons the tank. It uses that fuel to push itself retro. It's getting, so, look at this, it's getting so much weird body lift from these, it's pulling it in all sorts of weird directions. Your rockets just hit the ground. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah we didn't need that piece anyway. We anyways. have SRV splashdown. We didn't need that piece, it wasn't important. You uh, go, step, step. Look at that, as step. I try abort, to roll. Abort, abort, Gee, I'm learning here. <laughs> as I try to roll, it'll roll for a second and then it stops rolling. You recommend abort. Don't sink. Pull. I'm out, nerds! <laughs> you have confirmed uh. step. <laughs> Except 
There. Oh. Yes. There. Yes. No, I just can't roll. You're good. You're good. I can't roll. Wait, Our, I have like. You are no go for control. Pathfinder. R I don't know. No, 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 <laughs> RCS. No, 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 no. RCS. 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 Just Lies. Do it. Just pull up. Sync rate. No. Nope. Oh, There's oh. the same thing again. Yeah. Oh, 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 flashback. They're fine. You have confirmed Pathfinder. They're fine. Pathfinder confirmed program Pathfinder. complete. They're fine. You guys. How do you ever learn <laughs> with your mouth running so much? <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> right? Look who's talking. Mr. can talk for 16 straight hours on a stream. But I'm talking about what I'm learning. Man. So are we. Everybody's safe. It's got some very weird arrow things going on. Um, <laughs> sorry, guys. So that happens. Yes, we have enough time, I think, for oh, one more go. No, for one more launch. I think, let me try that again, maybe without the roll program, or let me see if I can get rolled over before the separation. Because it went all... <laughs> <laughs> you're killing AJ. Yes, I, we are firing shots. Oh my gosh, we all love each other here. Fire Let's revert hard. back to the launch again. <laughs> Everyone uh, revert back to the launch. Can we put that head on a stick One now? 1.0, nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to try this again. I'm going to try the roll program. Uh, uh, if only you can see what's going on behind the scenes here. SA is engaged. Let's see. All right. And we pay attention to the arrow instead of making snide remarks. <laughs> no, no. I mean, I, I was watching it. It looked, it looked, the thrust looked to be okay. I mean, it the, lost the thing control. Is, uh, like yeah. the arrow was pulling it out. Yeah. Of. Maybe that's why you gotta you gotta get the roll program while you're still at a relatively low velocity. Yeah, yeah, maybe while you're still throttled down, go for the roll. That makes sense. I'll just do it right out, like right yeah, out of the gate. Otherwise, as soon as the you clear the tower, gonna take it, man. that makes that's, sense. That's problem. Yeah, so wait for it to stop doing that forward momentum, and then as soon as it you know stops, what start. else? I bet you we're getting full drag from every one of these. These are not occluded by the nose cone, uh, and we have a boatload of drag at the top, and we've got six well, yeah, orange saw, tanks the flat it. on into the arrow, and that's why it loses right. control. Dark. We'll have to put nose cones or something on those to try and control yeah, them. Yeah, even yeah. if we hide the nose cones. Be careful yeah. about clipping parts into fairings. I haven't Man. had any part. I haven't had much, much really? luck with that. That's what it is. I bet you we had full drag lines from every one of those. Let's launch it again. How are we doing on time? Uh, 56. I think this is our last. Oh this may gosh. be our last. Pull up, pin like I said, again. Quiet, I'm going. All right. <laughs> so yeah, once it straightens itself out, maybe try the roll. Okay. Throttle back. Yep, Definitely throttle, throttle back. back. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll go into full yeah, recorder yeah, mode yeah. here and like watch what happens. Once I'm that straightens out, go for the. All right, yeah, there's the go pitch. For the roll, right? Now, when the pitch is in the middle, I'll go for the roll. Yeah, go for roll. And I'm a little concerned. It would be better if we were pointing directly pro grid when we tried the roll there. But the other thing the is, the asymmetric cross will make it equalize out. Dude, just roll. What is that? Is it not the other thing to do? Is so just went into docking mode. Yeah, went yeah. into docking mode. That's weird. Because the other option right. is just rotate it in the valve. Okay, here we go. I'd, 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 really, I'd really like to do the real roll. No, but so that's shorter roll. Instead of rolling 180, it's only rolling 90 or yeah, something. Yeah, mine only roll 90, dude. That's the other thing. So, y'all a little bit to the right. Y'all right if you can. Now go pitch down. Look at that. There you pitch go. Th pitch down if you can. Oh, uh, yeah, you no. lost. You yeah, lost no, that's 180. It just, it won't roll. It rolls some amount, and then it kind of sticks. Yeah. Look, it just, it's naturally like, wait, okay, it wants to roll this way. All right, fine. Roll that way. I'm not even pressing anything right now. But yeah, no, I think that maybe the way to go is rotate it in the VAB so it's only a 90 degree roll instead of 180. And what is heating up? What just overheated? We had a random... Nah, now yeah, that's, 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 that's something thing. to get upset. That's, that's the object. That's squad. <laughs> that's squad. Oh, brother. Wait, we have time for another lunch. Yes. Okay, <laughs> so oh. it's revert. My thought is revert, rotate it so it's only a 90 degree roll program. So go no ahead. time. No? You don't even want to take... <laughs> no, you're right. Can, can, I, can I try flying it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, uh, I know the, the wireless. Had a take it. No, go for it. It had a one. It goes all program, over the map. Here, go for it, EJ. Go, 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 yeah, go, go. Let me, let me see. Let me see what we got here. Let's see if I can... All right. So the shuttle it. master is in control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Throw up. Just give this to EJ. This is his ball of wax. Uh, where's the mouse? All right, you ready to launch I commentary? I just made it look pretty. Uh, three, two, one, space. Yeah. Ready? All right, ready? One, two... Three. One, two, three. <laughs> what? <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, so you're throttled all the way up. That's why you're jumping that way right now. Oh, you even did the cinematic launch thing. Yep. Watch out. There you we go. We got a you know what over here. <laughs> I almost think that it's going to need to be flying prograde before we can uh, do that's, the roll it's program. Too, it's too much of an offset, dude. We still need to tweak the boosters. The boosters, the boosters on the boosters? Or the, what about the main engines on the orbiter? There you go. See if you can get prograde then do the roll. Because you're just at 50 right now. Yeah, now I try the roll. Yeah, the, hold up. Yeah, no, dude, you're good. Look at that. Hey, your pitch went over to 90. Perfect. Can you roll? 
see how it kind of goes off to the side there? Yeah, mine, yeah. I mean, mine does that. It does that from time to time. Most of the Nelsie, heavier vehicles can you go that all the, the way through the roll? Yeah, I'll, you do it. I got it. It slowly, gets to a yeah. point. Let's see here. And see how you to start to point. yaw out? Oh yeah. And then it turned you back the other way, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, I'm losing it. That's exactly the same thing that's happened to me. Oh. Uh -oh. Mission Control is calling the launch. Okay, so mine doesn't do this. This, this is. I'm not. I'm holding pitch right now. I'm not holding any other button but pitch. Yeah, you're holding yeah. just W key. There you go. I think it's the drag. I got to be the, the drag. It's got to be the drag. Yeah, the it's got to be the top of the tank. Because the SRBs are going to do the same thing. I'm not, yeah. yeah, I'm not. I like you're, that's I, the exact look, same thing that happened I'm to me. Yeah. Completely letting it go. Yeah. And the thing's spinning out of control. So. And even if you toss the boosters right now. All right. Let's see if I can land this. Hold up. You going for RTLS? Can it fly prograde now? It got to 10k. All right. But do you have any bad. control here? Mm, That's, I'm gonna guess. Well, I just got to make sure that I get away from the the tank. Oh. Yeah, you're you still know, not separated for, from the tank. Go for ET set. There you go. We have a clean set. <laughs> All right. I gotta. And we are gonna have to go here, guys. Yeah, it's this time is the last. After we land it, we are gonna call yeah. it. A Hopefully, a EJ down. doesn't kill everyone. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, and you can press one to turn off your main engines. They're still on. Just in case you need a little bit, uh, one on the number pet. No, no, the, 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 the yeah. yeah I got those it. are your, oh, those are your ohms. Yeah. Unfortunately, uh, we can't continue streaming for reasons because the intrepid said we can't. Wait, okay, what? it's only turning. I mean, closed. There you. Okay. I think All right. We got yeah, it. you are going nose. No. Down. I have no clue what's on. Uh, right I don't need them. Uh, All right, good deal. Good luck. Oh, excuse me. Except I don't need counting them. On you. Plenty of fuel. Mr. Show okay. off. All right, and guys, the museum is closed. They're pushing everybody out, and we need to go on live here very shortly. We cut an extra deal to get a little bit of extra time here. Yes, so. but after this, unfortunately, that is it. <laughs> Try hiding until they close. We're gonna crawl up inside the shuttle. Yeah. Stream from the shuttle bay. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, so live inside the cargo bay with no lights. That'll be perfect. So yeah, when you see the blank screen later, that's us streaming inside. Yeah, yeah. Just the mic cables won't dark. reach. We don't have the lights. Yeah. Look Periscope at the, from inside the shuttle. Look at there that. You, go. you can see the uh, shadow of the shuttle coming in. This is actually not a bad RTL. Isn't that awesome? How's it flying for you? It's okay. You just got to be very careful with it. That's all. So we're 1,000. 1,000 off the deck. 900. It's kind of squirrely, isn't it? A little bit. 800. 700. 600. Something just separated. No, it's that, it does that. 500. Okay. You're coming. Gear on the way. So we're 300. At 85. Three, gear down a lot. Gear down. Yeah, there you go. Look at the shadow. That is gorgeous. The shadow looks almost exactly right. It does. That's what's so cool. <laughs> 100. Uh oh, 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 baby. Come oh, here. buddy. Come oh, here. got a little glide Play and it and flare it and space for space main for gear the touchdown. Drogue. Ooh, nose gear touchdown. Space for the drogue. deploy shoot. Wait. What we just have happened? Gear failure. You put the gear up. I didn't hit the gear button. Whoa. Yeah. It's off. Yeah, I hit the gear button. <laughs> no. We have a gear retract. No. We have an unscheduled gear retract. <laughs> Nice. Hey, I got it back uh, though. It's <laughs> the crew. The this crew's okay. in a museum. <laughs> so do you. <laughs> well, this place empty the echo on that. Is yeah, <laughs> guys, let's go full screen. Let me see the mouse right quick. We gotta get out. Victory. <laughs> we, the museum was nice enough to let us do that. We gotta get out. Um, here's the deal, guys. We'll be back tomorrow. We're gonna be streaming most of the day tomorrow. Yeah, here pretty in much the shuttle through. pavilion, almost the entire day. I think we start up at 10 a.m. I believe. Yep. Um, yep. We're gonna be streaming a very long time tomorrow. We're gonna have uh, Mike Massimino. Yes, we have an astronaut. The astronaut who went to space multiple times, worked on repairing the Hubble. He's gonna come. He'll sit down and share some of his experiences with us. We'll be talking about the Hubble exhibit. We'll hopefully do a Hubble mission if we can get a working shuttle. <laughs> um, but get, I got you covered on that. Man. All right, we'll yeah. send the ship home Give it with to the EJ. hands of the master. Yeah, there you go. But for now, guys, we totally have to take off. Thank you so much for watching us. I appreciate you. Remember, we're live in New York City. We're on the Intrepid Sea, Air, and Space Museum. We're at their Space and Science Festival. We stream in three days all weekend. Tomorrow's our last day. So if you well, haven't watched us today or wait a second. That doesn't make any <laughs> sense. Watch tomorrow where the, whether or not you've seen us. Um, but we do have to go for now. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. We're going to go get some dinner in a little bit, I think. Yeah, so we'll be in New York City. Keep Outstanding. Stuff. We may actually do another Periscope later, guys. So follow follow me on Twitter. I've been doing them from my phone. I had to charge my phone. The Periscope thing died. But we may do a little bit of a, a Periscope from somewhere and just kind of hang out and talk about some yeah, stuff. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. 
But we totally appreciate you guys. So check, tw check to us as Twitter. Absolutely. Anything else? Are we good to go? I think we're good, man. I think we're good until tomorrow. I think we're good. Guys, thank you so much. There's Shatter Thanks, Mage guys. as well. Hey, Shatter, thank you. We'll catch you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching.